Osama Arabi was just 14 when he was arrested for the first time. He was at a protest when soldiers grabbed him. That was seven years ago. It feels like yesterday. We were protesting at a fur prison gate. The army came and we escaped to the mountain. I ran for a long distance, but once they caught me, they beat me with their guns. They stepped hard on my back. When they arrested me, they kept beating me, beating, beating, beating. Then they took me for interrogation. He was taken to a military prison. There he was beaten again, verbally threatened, and refused access to a lawyer. Then he was strip searched before being released without charge. When they arrested me, they stripped me to search me. I didn't understand what they were searching for. They didn't say. It was humiliating. It made me very angry. It's not unusual here to see children dragged away by the army or police. A new report by the charity Save the Children says what is happening in the military judicial system is a serious human rights concern. It reveals 42% of the children arrested were injured. Injuries included gunshot wounds and broken bones. 65% were arrested during the night, mostly between midnight and dawn. 86% were beaten at some point. 76% threatened with physical harm and 60% hit with sticks or guns. 69% were strip searched. Boys made up 97% of the arrests. Children are still being mistreated through the military detention system. They aren't the safeguarding measures that you would expect in place to keep children safe. Now, we're not saying children are above the law, but there must be safeguarding measures in place aligned to global juvenile justice standards to make sure that children are safe. Israeli law doesn't apply in the West Bank, but Israel has signed international agreements to protect children. One Israeli group says those treaties are being ignored. Arrest should be the last resort when there is no other alternative, and the arrest should be for as short a period as possible. And of course, children have to be protected from violence, from threats, from uh, other abuse. The report doesn't go into great detail on the long-term impacts of these arrests and the psychological damage it can do to children for years to come. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Ramallah, in the occupied West Bank.